Dumelang, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Ntabi. If you don't know me, now you know. Welcome to the channel and please don't forget to subscribe. So today I have a fairly interesting video for you guys. I actually went to Chinatown the other time, like I was there. And so, okay, cool. I decided to wait again. Let me actually just check out what they have over here. And I found something that I really, really thought, you know, it would be interesting to try it out and see how it actually applies. Especially because I know for a fact okay, it's not necessarily the authentic quality i mean the authentic brand or whatever i saw this eyeshadow palette and i was like i really want to try this out because it looked really good the pigment was like everything so i tried it out and yeah i've used it before actually which is why i wanted to give you guys this video because i do think Korea, you know i mean i mean there are some ladies out there that would be interested in buying this palette um i know for a fact that there are people that do buy makeup from chinatown so yeah might as well just enjoy i'll try out the thing and if i like it or if i feel it's safe for you guys to use then yeah then you guys can go check it out so let's get into it um i actually wanted to recreate this look because it was actually in my eyelash video there was somebody that asked for me to recreate the look and i was like actually i i should do that like i should do that especially because i've been wanting to tell you guys about this eyeshadow palette it's really pretty it caught my eye and i was like i really want to try this out because i mean like I mean, I mean, you know, so right now I'm going to be using this brown over here, this light brown, and I'm using it as my transition shade. Um, I won't lie, guys. I was honestly very impressed with this, uh, with this eyeshadow palette, which is the main reason why I actually wanted to, to put up this video and recreate this look. Because like I said, there are ladies out there who genuinely do buy makeup from Boma Chinatown and stuff like that, simply because that's all they can afford. So I was like, I mean, that's why YouTubers exist. We, we are here so that we can give you guys reviews on products that you guys could be interested in using. And honestly, I won't lie, like, now this palette honestly shocked me. Like, I, it was a pleasant surprise. I really didn't expect for this thing to actually be something that I would use and actually like. <laughs> because I was like, um, this is obviously not the real palette. And by real palette, I mean, um, if you guys have seen uh, a lot of products from Huda Beauty, you will know Huda, they came out with a palette that looks exactly like this. Like, it was like a, um, a pink type of palette that had some pressed pigments it had some glitter in it and now no hurry over here you see right here this is like a light very very light um conceit no it's a very light what you call um eyeshadow so in the huda beauty the actual huda beauty uh palette this was an actual this was a concealer that you can use for your for your eyeshadow or your eye base or whatever which was really really cool that was really cool but also Huda Beauty is mad expensive and you don't necessarily find those products in South Africa that's one of the reasons why I'm always saying Hore there are things that you just know Hore when you find it in this country it's just not real okay it's fake <laughs> especially if it's ridiculously cheap and um this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette obviously it's a dupe it's not the real thing but yeah it looks like very similar to the Huda Beauty and I will not lie to you what impressed me the most got palette in it. Now I'm gonna go into um I just wanna go into I think I'll go into the shade. I don't remember how I created that look. I'm just um yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm winging it, but then I'm gonna do something very similar. So you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna look similar to that eyeshadow look I had in that other video. And if you haven't watched the video, please go check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. So you're just going to keep blending that, blending, 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 and just keep blending. Wait, see, I wanted to actually recreate this hairstyle for you guys as well, but I can't necessarily do that right now. I'll do it. If you guys actually are interested, tell me in the comment section down below. And then if you are, I will, um, yeah, I'll recreate this hairstyle for you guys. I have switched up the way I do my my foundation i really have and i really 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 love what my makeup looks like lately like i really love what it, what it looks like lately because like you know how i'm always like if you guys have watched my makeup my foundation makeup videos you'll see my foundation makeup well my foundation videos little vanakore i'm always 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 going on about foundation looking like your skin and i feel like i have finally perfected it like i really feel like i've actually gotten to a point where i can say that i've perfected doing makeup you know for my face like i'm gonna go into this brown over here just 
just do that and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut my crease using my LA girl concealer Ooh, there's a mirror in this palette actually which is also really cool like this palette was literally 60 Rand and it has a mirror in it oh my god wow okay so now that we've applied our concealer that is in the shade porcelain from LA girl I'm not gonna look up cuz I don't want to smudge this um, but what I am gonna do right now is apply my crease color so we are going in with that shimmery shade and honestly you guys i i don't know i feel like maybe i'm a best I'm a, i was a little bit biased with this palette because pink is my favorite color so i think that's one of the reasons why i completely freaking adore this palette um so i'm gonna use that pink right there that shimmery pink and we're just gonna place that on our eyelid like guys the one thing that impressed me the most about this palette, honestly, was the 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 shimmery shades. Like I was so impressed. Honestly, wait, you know how they apply, ne? They apply like a pressed pigment, and it also says on the packaging somewhere, Jorge, it's like a yeah, it's got like pressed pigments in it. Honestly, I can believe it because the way these things are so pigmented it's crazy you wouldn't think her palette in a literally cost 60 rand which is insane like it's honestly crazy i mean look at that i didn't even um spray my 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 brush with setting spray and it already looks so nice and pigmented this is what it looks like right now and this is just with the brush without um kind of getting without using without using setting spray on the the shimmery shade so i'm gonna quickly get my setting spray i don't know where it is i have to look for it and then i will show you guys how it applies um with the setting spray and then we'll finish off the look and i'll give you my overall uh, impression of the palettes okay so let's quickly do that again i'm just gonna take this on my flat brush this is a flat placing brush by the way if i didn't tell you what it is i'm gonna take my makeup revolution setting spray and i'm just gonna spritz that maybe high one or high two and we're just gonna apply that again and you guys will see what i mean Hurry. look at that oh my god it looks so pretty so what we're going to do now take your 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 little blending <laughs> your little eyeshadow blending brush and then you're gonna go back into that mauve color what is this a burgundy oh my god burgundy you're gonna go into like that burgundy mauve type of color and like you guys know the drill by now i always always do half cut creases and when we do half cut creases you ombre it out so that you can blend you know you can blend lishandis properly you don't want to look like it you don't want it to look weird basically because it's going to look very like weird and you don't want that so you just blend that in just so you don't have a harsh line and then you do the same thing on the other eye and like you lightly sweep it into you know into that metallic shade so you just sweep it in sweep it in and then what i'm gonna do now is because i want to deepen that i will go into my other one of my other favorite palettes um my, one of my other cheap favorite palettes that is which is the limited colors limited i mean the colors limited palette and i've already reviewed this if you guys haven't seen the review of this eyeshadow palette and you are looking for a cheap eyeshadow palette which is not from chinatown it's actually from fashini go check out the review um on the palette so i'm using that shade to just deepen that so i'm gonna smoke it out just a little bit so you just place that place it place it and then i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye i'm just gonna place it on the outer corner and then we're going to blend it out and then we'll be almost done with this eyeshadow look so just like that okay and then you're just gonna blend that just a little bit outwards as well and just blend it in to your um to your metallic shade over there and then blend it outwards just keep blending in like little circular motions that looks a bit harsh so i'm just gonna take a clean blending brush uh yeah i'll use this side 
and I'm just gonna blend that outwards just so it's not too harsh so yeah honestly you guys i honestly would recommend this palette to you guys um the the nude palette that's actually what's written on it it's nude yeah <laughs> the nude palette i would recommend this palette because honestly i like i said i didn't expect for this palette to be as great as it is and for the price especially and where i found it you know like it's really a great palette someone special is calling <laughs> so my overall opinion of the palette in as much as yes this is one of those palettes from your chinatown and stuff like that and i know some people are very scared to use that makeup because obviously um they're not necessarily regulated so you're not really sure what's in the actual bottle and if um, the chemicals are safe or not but um i am a person that has very very sensitive skin very very sensitive skin so most times if there's anything dodgy going on with the product i will break out or my eyes will be painful or they'll start swelling that hasn't happened um since i started using this this is probably like my third time using this palette and that has not happened which is a good thing so um yeah if you guys would like to try it out um chinatown that's where i got it i don't know the name of the shop but then like just jay walk around for chinatown you'll find um the palette so this is just for those ladies that are really just interested in trying out makeup from there and they've never really seen a, re a review on it on youtube because many people don't review it i just did that for you guys and i hope Hori, you enjoyed the video so um Tell me what you think in the comment section and tell me if you guys have actually tried out makeup from like Bo Chinatown and also don't forget to tell me if you would like to see a tutorial on this hairstyle. Um, yes. So without uh, wasting any more of your time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, bye. <laughs> bye.